I'm gonna show you five of the best places for breakfast in the Outer Banks and that's starting right now. Just because the vibes at the Outer Banks is fun in the sun, doesn't mean you can't kick off your day with an incredible breakfast to get you ready for the beach and hold you over until dinner and cocktails as the sun goes down. There's no lack of options along Highway 158, but I'm here to whittle down that list to give you a few places to start. I've chosen a few different types of breakfast here, so there is sure to be something to please everyone in your party. In addition to the five restaurants I have for you today, I also have some money-saving hacks, so stay Stick around for that. Kicking off the list, let's start with the most controversial place I saw on the Outer Banks. And that is Biscuits and Corn. Prefacing, that is actually not the name of this place. The last word in the name is actually magazines and videos that contain adult themes, if you know what I mean. But for our purposes here, we're gonna try not to upset YouTube systems and keep this hard G. So Biscuits and Corn it is. As you're driving on the Outer Banks, you'll probably drive right past this place, maybe raise an eyebrow, and move on with your day. It basically looks like a gas station with a completely nondescript convenience store attached. When you enter this place, basically the same exact vibes. Until you look a little bit closely, if you make a sharp turn to the right, you'll run into an entire row of their merch. And if you look closely, there's a rack with spank mags. But if you turn left, it's a deli with some of the most incredible biscuits you've ever seen. The food is ridiculously good and completely homemade. On our last visit, we tried just about everything on the breakfast menu. Starting with the plain biscuits, this is like a top three biscuit I've ever had in my entire lifetime. It's flaky and buttery with a good balance of soft interior and slightly crunchy exterior textures. Breakfast sandwiches on this are also great. We tried bacon, egg, and cheese, as well as sausage, egg, and cheese. And the unfancy American cheese, yellow American, is just perfect, perfect against this biscuit. Their scrambled egg is also nice and soft. The cheddar biscuits are also really great. Pretty much same idea with cheddar melted on top. And the sausage gravy for the biscuits is rich, velvety, spiced, and basically everything that you'd want in a sausage gravy with biscuit. And I like how they crumble the biscuit into that. Biscuits and Corn is located at 2112 South Croatian Highway in Nags Head. And don't let the name deter you, you have to go here. Next up is Duck Donuts. Now I'm not gonna spend a ton of time here because I basically already have a three video series about Duck Donuts and their menu offerings. And that includes the Duck Donuts that's actually in Duck in North Carolina. I encourage you not to visit this location. It's not that the food is bad, but there are tons of other locations on the Outer Banks and outside of the area. So open up the map app on your phone and go to one of those other locations instead. Don't spend an hour waiting for donuts. You have better things to do, like go to the beach. All of that said, duck donuts are actually pretty good. What it is is basically a cake donut that's served warm with a variety of toppings. Anything from something fruity, chocolatey, peanut buttery, sprinkles, maple, even bacon, even maple and bacon. This style donut seems to be a North Carolina staple. So while you're down there, definitely check it out. Just don't go to the location in duck. And if you're enjoying this, hit the thumbs up so YouTube knows to share it with more people like you. The next place to check out is a place called Barrier Island Bagels. Bagels seem like a popular thing in the Outer Banks. On this last visit, we found a place called Barrier Island Bagels that actually has a bunch of things to highlight. First, they offer a ton of sandwich options. Things called The Hangover, Friends with Bennis, Fast Eddie, and The French Kiss give you lots to choose between. And when you couple all of those options with the entire variety of flavors of bagels that they make, the variety just skyrockets. There's another thing to note at this place. In addition to a dine-in space, they also have a bar. And at the bar, they have some special breakfast themed cocktails that are actually designed for you to enjoy while you wait for your order. It's something to consider if you're looking to get a jump on the day drinking. What I tried on my latest visit was called the Delbert. Advertised on the board with egg, cheese, and every meat they had, I opted for that on a Sriracha Everything Bagel. I met a little disappointment here because the young lady must not have heard me actually say Sriracha everything and I got it on just an everything bagel. And that's partially because when we went the music was so damn loud. But another kind of disappointment here was that it said every meat on the sandwich and it was missing a lot of the lunch meats and scrapple. As a New Yorker, I totally approve. I also tried a bite of Noah's French Toast Bagel with cream cheese, and that was also quite good. Barrier Island Bagels is located at 4716 North Croatian Highway in Kitty Hawk. All right, now here's bonus hack number one and it's at Barrier Island Bagels. They have day olds on the table in the front for just a few bucks. Pick some of those up and some cream cheese and just toast them up wherever you're staying. That'll save you an easy $20 per day. And if you're finding this helpful, hit subscribe, especially if you like food. Next up is Stack'em High Diner. A popular thing to do while you're on vacation is go to a diner for breakfast. There's something comforting about sitting down with family in a casual dining room over some eggs, right? 
Stackham High Diner has a few locations along the Outer Banks, and they're all family owned, and they're very proud of it. Coming from really understanding the New York, New Jersey diner vibes, walking into this place, it's definitely not exactly the same, but it has lots of different homely vibes in a completely different way. The main difference is that all ordering is done at a counter, almost like a buffet or school lunch line. They have a menu board, but also on the buffet, there's some miscellaneous items and some beverage options. They seem to specialize in pancakes, but also have other familiar things like omelets. I mean, you could even go crazy and do something like clam hash or even a ribeye steak. I was craving something like completely breakfast or brunchy on this occasion. So I opted for red flannel hash with two eggs, over easy, some grits, a biscuit, and for good measure, I added a side of country ham. We had to go for the Southern theme here. If you're not familiar with red flannel hash, it has onions, potatoes, pastrami, corned beef, cheese, and seasoning. This totally fit the bill. Throw in there a couple eggs, which I totally Bruh. broke upon transferring on top of my hash, some grits in the biscuit, and to me, that's like a perfect breakfast. Country ham is actually like a really cured ham that's found in the South that gets really crisped up nicely when you fry it up on a flat top. It's almost like a ham steak with a little more funk. If you get a chance, definitely check it out. All right, here it is. Here's bonus hack number two. On the Outer Banks, you'll find your Old Faithful's Dunkin' Donuts and Starbucks. There's also no shortage of independent coffee shops, one of which I'll get back to in just a second. But the other thing there is on the Outer Banks are really well-stocked supermarkets all up and down the shore. What you could do is stop in there and grab a bottle of pre-made iced coffee and whatever your favorite mix-ins are. And I just saved you $50 if you're staying for the whole week. That hack is good and all, but sometimes when you're on vacation, you want a nicer than usual coffee. That's when you go someplace like Ashley's Espresso Parlor. I'll link to a video with even more details about Ashley at the end of this, but on this most recent visit, we got to explore even more of their coffee and food offerings. The people who run this place are super nice. The staff is always super friendly. And on this trip, I even got to meet the young man that was the owner. And I really quizzed him about what I should order this time. He recommended the Lebanese Blonde Iced Latte, which is what I went with. It was a really great drink, lightly laced with pistachio and cinnamon. It was a perfect, perfect. start to the day. And the other thing is I finally got my Sriracha every everything bagel there and it was glorious. <laughs> The owner was telling me about these toasts that they make with bread from a bakery called Gutsy Grain. And he actually snuck a slice of the kimchi cheddar bread into our bag, totally free of charge, because he remembers the last video I made about Ashley's. And I didn't know about that at the time, but when we tried this, we really enjoyed it. Ashley's also makes this incredible thing called a cold brew shake, which you could find out more about by clicking the video right here. 